What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video and I am up and gunning it because I got to go to the shop first and then I got to go to the junkyard. I got to go to the shop first because I got to get a bunch of tools. Probably should have grabbed the bag last night, but whatever. I, 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 I hope I'll be okay. And I hope I'll get to the junkyard with like a couple hours to spare. All I really need is like an hour, but I want to be there like two hours before they close. So, we out. We're going to the shop, going to the junkyard, getting a bunch of shit. It's going to be sick. I'll see you there. Friggin' peace out. I got a backpack full of necessary tools. I guess I'll see you in there. I'm not going to bring the camera in there, so I'll see you in there with my phone. If I need to record anything, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. But I'm. it's only been 20 minutes, so I'm on the way to Chuck and Eddie's now. Let's go get some freaking parts. So they didn't let me take my backpack. I guess that's a new thing, but whatever. So now I'm taking this. <clears throat> Intact. That's number one thing I'm taking. That's the easiest. So I figured I'd do that first. I really want to know who the moron is that couldn't figure out how to take the door cards off. So just broke the freaking the door handle like bezels. These things, like, this is a problem with preludes. These all break because people are so damn stupid. Like, how do you not know? There's, like, literally a little circle right there. You pop that off. That's it. Like, ah, fuck, dude. But I'm going to look up exactly how to take this out because I do not want to fuck it up. Uh, I got some of the stuff off, but, like, I, I know I need, like, that box. I need the whole harness. I need everything for this cluster right here. Everything. All right, so I got the tinted piece off, and I'm just following the freaking instructions. I can see another bolt now. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to plug all this in where it goes and continue with the harness, because I'm pretty sure I need this entire dash harness right here. The clip's unplugged down there, and I got this dash wire, like, loose. Now it says, I've been watching this video. I'll link his shit right here. And he's just going through, like, how to remove everything. So that's what I've been following. And, uh, yeah, I got to take off the screws that hold this lower cover on right here. Mint. Started to take these off. That was a bad move on my part. They pretty much all broke. But, I mean, I could still salvage them at some point. Whatever. I don't, I, fuck it. I just didn't want to have that big-ass piece. But got that. Got the harness. Got everything just in here. So I'm going to carry it out like that. I want, if anyone wants these headlights or anything else from it, it also has the SE, uh, the OEM clears. Uh, Chuck and Eddie's Southington, this, the Ch Chuck and Eddie's, the Southington location has everything. So, well, has this. I'll close the door up. Still a couple things left. I got the other, like, side piece out for you guys, if anyone wants that. And yeah, so, Southington, Chuck and Eddie's. Might get this hood though. Oh, Kyle. Kyle, I found your cord in the junkyard, dude. No. Oh, dude, I drove this thing, dude. This used to be at the dealership that I worked at. My boy Kyle bought it. And it's fucking shot. This is 100% the fucking car, too. This is crazy. I know some of you guys are going to be pretty upset by this, but this place, once the cars are in this yard, they don't let you actually buy a full car. And I know there's a lot of friggin' guys building rat rods out there that would love this thing corvair boy damn dude it's fucked in there but look at that such a weird weird engine i think this will work this is from f22 automatic or f22 standard so that should work. I'm going to take that starter. Five-speed F-series transmission, which should be exactly the same as mine. Only this one has really long gears. Too long. H23 gears, mint. Yeah, look at this. This dude's like, I sent him the pictures. He's like, my baby. Yep, that's my sticker. Yeah, look at my boy's. Look at my boy. <laughs> look at my boy's uh... profile picture shit. Okay, Ronnie's here. Uh, the neighbor. Hi. <laughs> and then, okay, okay, okay. So here's all my and thens. Here, 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 here. This hole here, 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 
in here. Okay, so what I did is I went on eBay and I made a cart up of all of the stuff that I just got, minus the nostrils because I couldn't find that. Figure you on eBay, like the newer nostrils go for like 60 bucks. So if they have the whole thing, it'll be like 170. So we have 62. 174 which is a little cheaper than they usually are and but that's just for for this You need this and the entire harness because the clips are different. You can't just use that so 174 e-brake handle 25 and that's I don't even know if that's if that might be for a fifth gen So it might be a little bit cheaper 110 for that shit plus 30 for shipping for the center console right here Dude's making a big deal about the cup holder. And then 60 bucks for the tweeter covers. So, grand total of $491. And that's not even including the nostrils, which these... Look, all right, so let me give you guys a better idea. 92 nostrils. Or 92 nostrils, 96 nostrils. Let me know which ones you guys like better. I like them both. But I just figured I want both. So these are like 60 bucks. So I spent $95. So I basically spent 400 less by going to the junk by going to the junkyard. Go to your freaking junkyards, guys. Go to your damn junkyards. Like I said, if anyone wants any other prelude parts, Chuck and Eddie's in Southington. I mean, it's not really much else. Sorry finders keepers you know but if you want like some interior bits you know be my guest you want an h23 valve cover engine automatic transmission sensors go get it you know all right the new starter's in there the shit's on jump start freaking you know crossing the finger please start on that idle but that starter's mint dude hell yeah yeah I gotta work on the tune well maybe Ronnie can work on the tune <laughs> I don't wanna fuck anything up but I oh wait dude it didn't fucking high idle I just realized that it might be getting too much fucking uh, fuel right now I wonder what the AFRs were I couldn't even tell I probably didn't even give it long enough to fucking my wastegate opened a little bit yeah it did I saw like some water come out of it all right, cool, sweet, nice. Told you guys, starter. Haha, ha. I, I knew it, right? Because I know everything. I literally know everything. None of you know anything. Okay, so boom. You guys saw that shit? I'm leaving this charging, you know. The battery's fine. I, like, this is the battery I bought recently for my for that. But, I mean, the starter's been pork, so it's probably been drawing some juice or something like that. I don't know. Well, it's, it's charging. Now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to start installing my freaking cool JDM goodies. Not even JDM, OEM goodies. So I pulled it forward very good and thin. And I must uh, start taking the dash apart. Alright, I'm not going to do the whole thing. But here's the rundown, you know. Like you take these off. I won't be needing these anymore. Apparently I won't be needing the tweeters because there's whole speakers behind these. Both of them. And then you take this bottom thing off here. Very careful. See that? Throw that over there. And then there's these little screws in here. We need a stubby screwdriver. Get that top thing off. And then this thing comes off. Blah 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 blah. You can take that. Ooh, nice and gentle. Put that right there. And this. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that right there. There's a screw right there that'll come off. Pull it back. Boom. Okay, I got that out. Now, you look at it direct side by side, or front by back. Ugly. Nice.
All right, now if you come over here, this is the EL cluster. So it has this, and then this stuff, this is, goes into this box, which I'm assuming is like a dimmer or something like that. But anyways, this is very different than this. So the clips that are the same, this yellow clip, I don't know if this is helping anyone, but this yellow clip and that clip are the same as this yellow clip and this, but on the the analog cluster has this giant clip and on this one it has a little clip. So right off the rip, cannot be used. You need the entire harness, like I said before. So yeah. Just letting you guys know, I'm not gonna be too in detail about this stuff, but if anyone's watching with a prelude, I figured. You know, might as well be half informative and, you know, answer things while they're out in front of me. This will fit right here. If you guys were wondering, this is like the digital part of the dash. These are all the lights that are possible. Out with the old, in with the new. So you gotta shove it down here, pull this out, pull everything down, and then shove these. These all go to like the switches on that little thing I'll show you after, but yeah, that's how that goes. Now I'm gonna put the cluster in. All right, one one thing I have to mention, I can't find anywhere to plug that last connector into, but I mean, in theory, the dash should light up when I turn the key, so. Yep. Oh, you know what? I bet you that thing is for the blinkers, dude, because why, why would the blinkers stay on, you know? Because those things right there aren't supposed to stay lit up. Alright, there we go. So there's the dash all put back together with the new tweeter covers. Look how much cleaner that is. Alright, so I mean, they, they blink correctly. And they just blink fast. And I can't get them, even with the resistors, to blink slow. See? So if anyone knows what I have to do with this EL conversion... I'm going to look up some more stuff later, but I don't want to waste the whole day on it. So, uh, one thing I do, I will say, is uh, this wire here is literally just the trunk. See? Alright, and the, the 96 console is in just as easy as that, right? <sighs> no. No, it is not. Alright, so I thought maybe the center part of the floor or whatever would be maybe just drilled out. And you could just put the newer e-brake in it it is not so what i'm doing and uh i think probably would be the easiest method for anyone who is going to do this is i put it there i put the e-brake in its resting position and i'm going to take my welder go down in there with a light and friggin tack on uh well tack it real good tack it real good on there and uh then pull this off and weld both tabs and then put the e-brake up and I think I might have to do one more thing and I think that is um, I might have to make some kind of like extension for the actual bracket for the cables because the cables are a little bit far from this new e-brake so this may not be how you do it in the write-ups but I just looked at every write-up and there's zero pictures there's probably 20 of them but there's zero pictures and they all are way over complicated some of them say that the e-brake is wobbly. I'm like, fuck that. I'm welding it. Like, I. if you can do it, do it, you know? So, there you go. EL cluster conversion and a friggin' 96 console conversion in one video. I'm going to tack that on now. There it goes. Crazy stuff, huh? All right. So, I'm going to finish welding that side. And it looks as though this side, I'm going to have to pull the carpet out, take the seat back a little bit, and I'm going to lay a bead in between there. And, you know, periodically just make sure it doesn't catch on fire. There you go. One here, one there. Nothing's on fire. It's a little smoky, but we're meant. All right. So basically this back section is part of the e-brake that came on this thing stock. This is the part of this e-brake that was like this and I just you know welded them together and now look at that. I have a working e-brake that's in the right spot you see the door is up still have light that's what I meant guys went to Chuck and Eddie's 
Got $500 worth of stuff, $500, 500 plus worth of stuff for not even $100, $95 exact. The starter works, the car drives, it's just I gotta work on the bass tune slash idle and then go get it tuned. We did a major, major, major upgrade to the interior. Now instead of the flat center console, I do not have a lid. If anyone has a lid, I guess hit me up, but I really don't care about the lid. All I'm going to do is probably just glue the front of this down. Like, all I wanted was a cup holder, and I have a cup holder. Like, that's that's dope. And look at that. Working e-brake. Boom. Easy as that, guys. No crazy bracketry, no nothing. Literally just own a welder. That's it. And have a good sense of placement, I guess. Got the new starter. Starter works mint. Cranks over mint. And the the biggest thing, my, like the thing I'm the most excited about. Let me turn down the brightness on this. So like you guys can see what I mean. Everything is just so perfect. Like look at the needles on this. Like they're like, they're LED and they're freaking like outlined. Like there's like a black outline. Like there's thicker. The camera's not even picking it up that great, but. That's just so sick. Now it actually matches this. Because before, if you go back to any of my other videos where this is on, you'll see that that was really dim or just like not nice looking. Now it, it all matches. So now, with everything combined, I have a nicely sick ass dash. Now that everything is combined, I think that's a sick cockpit view. Like everything just lit up. It's not overdone. It's like this is all stock. Just with the three gauges, you know, I think it looks pretty sick. So let me let me know what you guys think about that. Like, I don't even care that I spent a hundred bucks for pretty much just this aesthetic shit. But I mean, if you really want to count that, I spent twenty on the starter, so I only spent seventy five on everything else. Not bad. So twenty I had to spend regardless to get it started. Seventy five dollars for I want to say still almost five hundred dollars worth of stuff. But Anyways, anyways, I'm done rambling. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. More Honda shit on the way. We're going to try to get this bass tuned tomorrow and uh, see how it does. Peace out.